Well, welcome. Uh, since they provided us with a great public speaking system here, public address system, I'm going to I'm going to use my outdoor voice and I'm going to be fairly brief. Uh, I want to say uh, welcome and congratulations to the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness on coming to the ribbon cutting of this important project. Eight new units of housing for people coming out of homelessness, uh, which is a great goal, but it's not the end goal. Uh, because ultimately, the job is to continue to work uh, in outreach with our unhoused folks here in Concord and to continue to place them into supportive housing with wraparound services. And in order to be successful at that, we can't be doing just eight units here and eight units there. What we really need are willing landlords who will partner with the Concord Coalition to end homelessness to make apartment units available for people who have wraparound services, who can be placed in housing and can say goodbye to homelessness and to hello to being housed. So that's the end goal. That's what we all should be working for towards, even while we celebrate milestones such as the ribbon cutting for, and the population of this house. So in any case, it's been my great pleasure to be here. Uh, and I now would like to introduce Ignatius McClellan, Managing Director. Managing Director <laughs> at New Hampshire Housing. Yeah, all right. Can you take a couple steps forward? Because it just feels weird, you know? Yeah. All right, so I'm here on behalf of Rob Daffis, so I apologize in advance if I stink as a public speaker, but Rob had a family situation arise. So I've got some notes that are his, and then I want to finish with a story that is near and dear to my heart which I've practiced a couple times to see if I can do it without crying. So um, thank you for having me. On behalf of our colleagues at New Hampshire Housing and Emily and, and Ginny are here and our board of directors, I wanna congratulate the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness and the entire project team, including St. Joe Spain, who I don't see because we would see him, you know, for the great work on this important project. Homelessness is a difficult problem and it's gonna take a lot of different things as the mayor said to solve it. In some respects, our society has created homelessness and it's our job to try to figure out how we solve it. In New Hampshire housing, we're a publicly um, supported, but we're not the state of New Hampshire, but we do appreciate the state affordable housing fund, the federal housing tax credits, and also the federal affordable housing fund that we administer on your behalf and on behalf of folks who are gonna live here. Um, on a really positive note, I wanna just thank the city of Concord. Uh, especially, I wanna thank the city's community development department. I wanna thank the zoning board, if you're on the zoning board, the planning board, former Mayor Boule and Mayor Champlin. I had to learn, I usually just call him Byron. Um, <laughs> Byron's okay. Th thank you to your efforts because as Byron said, we can't just build eight units here. So New Hampshire Housing is working on over 300 affordable units in the city of Concord. And most of them, thanks. And part of our application effort is you need to include supportive housing within those units because integration I think is such a key. Um, but I just wanna say Concord Coalition to End Homelessness, thank you for what you do and now my story. So I volunteer over at the food pantry at Christ the King. And many years ago, a gentleman by the name of Frank Sprawl passed away by the Merrimack River. Some of you remember Foote's Retirement Center. He was in a tent there. He was a food pantry client. And for years, we were trying to get him inside housing. And for years, people would greet him at Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's where he'd have coffee with 15 sugar and triple cream, and we still tried to get him in and get him housed. We finally got him housed, and he had a singular request, a radio to listen to the Boston Red Sox, and we got him that. Yes. Sadly, Frank passed away shortly after he was housed. And as a member of the food pantry, we got a call from his family. We would like to meet you. So my wife being the good sport that she is, the food pantry volunteers came over, Frank's mom and sisters came over to our house and we learned about Frank. 
Frank was an MBA who had a house, a job, and a good wife, and he had a mental breakdown and became homeless. And he actually, his sister drove by where he was in camp, but she never knew that that was him because he was so ashamed of his homelessness. I get a call the next day from the mother, from the sister, and she said, Ignatius, I want to thank you in the pantry. As we were driving home last night, my mother was quiet in the back seat. And I said, Mom, are you OK? And she said, I feel at peace for the first time since we lost him because I know that people cared for my son. And so while today we're celebrating the physical space of these new units, which matter, what we're really doing is giving peace to those brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, daughters and sons who worry about their family members because they're on the street. So I just want to say, Thank you for the peace that you are spreading with this project. Special thanks to the city and to the Concord Coalition and Low Homelessness. So keep the peace going. Thank you. So for those of you who don't know me, but I know quite a few people here, which is um, wonderful. I'm Karen Jansen. I'm the executive director of the Concord Coalition to end homelessness and welcome to our president street residences. Um, this is a significant milestone. Uh, this project embodies the very essence of compassion, resilience, and unity. And through tireless dedication of a lot of people, few setbacks, um, we've actually been able to transform a long-term vision into a reality. And this is much more than eight apartments. It is a real beacon of hope for those experiencing homelessness in our community. So I want to extend my sincere thanks to each of you who played a pivotal role in making this possible. In particular, I wanna thank Ellen Grow, who is the retired executive director of the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness, um, because she saw the potential in this building and really got this project going. Warren Street Architects, Joe Spain Construction, and Wilcox and Barton, who turned that vision in, that we had into this beautiful, beautiful building. Um, Architectural Design Review Committee, Planning Board, and various city departments that helped us work through a few hiccups and we're able to bring this um, project to completion. Our funders, New Hampshire Housing, uh, Merrimack County in partnership with the Community Development Finance Authority through a CDBG grant, so thank you. And to the countless of individuals who have lent their support along the way. We are delighted to continue <laughs> our partnership with Concord Housing and Redevelopment as our property manager. CCH Housing Support Specialists will provide the supportive services for the eight individuals who will now call this place home. But let's not forget that our work isn't over yet and homelessness remains a complex and crushing issue that demands our continued attention and collaboration. And while today marks a significant step forward, it also serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges that lie ahead so let's carry the spirit forward as we strive to build more affordable housing, advocate for meaningful policy change, and extend a hand of compassion to those in need. And in closing, I'm reminded of the quote by anthropologist Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Together we can, and we will, and homelessness in Concord. So thank you for coming. The apartments are open and feel free to walk in and take a look. Are you sure you want me to? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you go for it. Well. We'll drop in at just the right. Because I did so little to get this project off the ground, it didn't work. Let's hear it. One, two, two three. three.